Mabuhay! I'm Dr. Lilian Lasate Nebuen. You can call me Dr. Lilian. And to all the likers and subscribers, thank you all for viewing. Sa mga new viewers naman, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can watch my future vlogs. Our topic for today is all about Mercury. Ano bang kinalaman ng Mercury sa ngipin? Well, malaking bagay ang Mercury na nilalagay sa ngipin. It may be good for the past 200 years but now it should be banned and i think the department of health for finally releasing the administrative order on phasing out of dental amalgam in the practice of dentistry ayan ito po yung itsura ng amalgam filling yung po yung tawag natin diyan eh, mercury filling or no mostly we call it silver filling we can call it amalgam filling but in reality it is called Mercury Filling. I have been promoting Mercury Free Dentistry since 1996. Of course, when I started campaigning for Mercury Free Dentistry, I started campaigning it privately. Sa mga pasyente ko lang, sa close uh, family ties, and mga close friends. But really, nobody uh, believed me. Pero siyempre, doing this research, I come into this... Uh, studies na lumalabas that mercury is really toxic. When a woman is pregnant, we hope that she's never exposed to mercury vapor because we know that it can pass the placenta and cause neurological problems in the unborn baby. And as an advocate for mercury free dentistry, well, of course, it is unethical for us dentists na sabihin na, okay, may mercury feeling ka, kailangan tanggalin yan kasi nakakamatay yan. No, please, it is not a good practice. For, it is very unethical for us to be saying that. And in reality, hindi naman po siya nakakamatay. Yun po yung totoo dyan, hindi po siya nakakamatay. Kasi kung nakakamatay yan, lahat ng mga may mercury feeling sa bibig natin ngayon, eh, patay na tayo. <laughs> 4 to 19 micrograms of mercury per day can leach out of your amalgams into your body. These amalgams release mercury vapor, which is well over 100 to 600 times higher than what the ADA estimates. 80% of it that you breathe in collects in your body. So you not only have a toxin that can do the effect, you have it placed within inches of your brain. Well, basically, our mercury is a neurotoxin. It is highly toxic. So it's more toxic than lead. And it, itong Berkeley is a worldwide campaign na we want the world or United Nations want the world to be mercury free. Yan, yun ang totoo doon. And our country is one of the signatory to the Minamata Convention. I was there when our country signed with the Minamata Convention. Actually, I was the also one of the people who took photos sa ating Secretary of Department of in, um, Environment and Natural Resources. Yan. Okay, so so the question is, ano ba ang effect ng mercury sa katawan natin? Kung nasa bibig natin yan, it's toxic kasi each time you grind your food, each time you drink hot water or hot drink, hot coffee or tea, yung Amalgam feeling, pag exposed sa heat, meron yan mercury vapor emission. So, nag emit siya ng vapor. Of course, ang mercury, hindi talaga natin nakikita yun. Uh, mercury vapor is invisible. Mercury vapor is odorless, is tasteless. So, we don't really see it. Kaya, we don't know if it's really there. Me and my group conducted a study on mercury vapor emission. So, nagpunta kami from, from one place to another, clinic clinic to clinic and school to school, me and my group, Ban Toxics Philippines, together with my group, International Association of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, we conducted a study and we found out that dental amalgam does emit mercury vapor in the environment. Yung gadget, yung machine na ginagamit namin with the group of Ban Toxics, kahit yung maliit lang yung machine na yun, ilagay mo sa one corner, it can pick up yung mercury vapor within 20 meter radius. So, ganun ka-powerful yun. And it, mercury lang yung naamoy niya. 
and then measure yon. Well, here in my clinic, kasi meron akong um, dedicated room for safety amalgam removal. Definitely, there are strict protocols on doing mercury removal. We don't do it here. He, this is general dentistry room. We're not supposed to be grinding or drilling mercury in the general dentistry room. With that protocol, dapat tinatanggal ang mercury or grind ng mercury kung kailangan tanggalin. Ha? That is kung kailangan tanggalin. Then we have to do it in a private room. We have a dedicated room here where we manage mercury removal. Let me show you some parts, uh, some protocols that we need to wear if we're doing safety amalgam removal. So of course, we need rubber dump clamps. Yan. Of course, rubber dam clamps, as we see, kailangan po ng rubber dam. So, ina-isolate po yun, ngipin, kung saan may mercury filling, yun lang po yung naka-expose. Kaya kailangan po magsuot ng rubber dam. Yan. Of course, the patient, kung kayo po yung pasyente, kailangan, you should be breathing on clean air. Oxygen is a must. Uh, you, you're not supposed to breathe through the mouth, so you breathe through your nose. Kasi sa nose, mapapasok po yung oxygen doon. Of course, we want also to protect the patient from mga mercury droplets or mercury uh, spicules of mercury na natatanggal during the removal. We, yan, we also make the patient wear this mesh. Yan. Of course, kami naman as a protocol, kami as a practitioner, so may assistant wears a gas mask. Hindi naman siya kailangan mag-cover ng face kasi malayo siya. So, nag-assist lang siya. But for me, yon, I wear this. Yan, I wear this this gas mask. So recently I found that I I have this new gadget kasi parang parang feeling ko mas mas mas, mas protected pa ako dito. No problem po kasi when I'm doing amalgam removal, pag dito meron siyang nagmo-moist, nagmi-mist during the removal kaya ano. So ito, this is good. Well, I'm not promoting this, huh? No, I'm the bend up. So we were I wear like this. Yan. So meron siyang air sa loob. So it's good kasi pagka may air siya sa loob, I can see clearly, I can really even get closer to the patient's mouth to really uh, remove all the remaining mercury. Yun. So these are some of the protocols that we do. And syempre, one of the main protocols pag safety amalgam removal, dapat dedicated room, yung room for mercury removal. Hindi pwede sa general dentistry room. Yan yung nakikita ninyo. Ito yung room where I do safety amalgam removal. So the question is, ano ba yung safety measurement that our body can bioaccumulate? Kasi, look, ang mercury is in the soil. It's in the environment. Naturally, you go out on the street, may mercury emissions dyan. Of course, in small amount. Ang, ang tanong is, Ano ba yung safety level that our body can bioaccumulate? Kasi our body can bioaccumulate this toxin. How much? 200 nanograms per cubic meter. So, can you imagine yung 200 nanograms per cubic meter, mababa yun. Then, kaya ng katawan natin i-manage yun. Pero pag tumaas yung mercury vapor emission beyond 200 nanograms per cubic meter, which at that time, yung measurement that we were able to pick up from different schools, ang measurement was 7,000 to 23,000 nanograms per cubic meter. So, again, ha, imagine, mercury is a neurotoxin. It has something to do with uh, neurons, growth ng neurons. Every human body has a genetic predisposition to handle toxicity a certain way. And there's a very strong biological reason for this. And it comes down to the individual's susceptibility. Most of this is genetic susceptibility. Certain people will get sick, will have symptoms at much lower levels of exposure than other people. So, ano yung mga effect ng mga neurotoxins na to? Ano ba nangyayari sa na neurons natin? Yung bang umuulong yung, yung growth niya bumabagal? Here, I will show you in this video a very short clip na nakikita ninyo yung brain neurons umuuro. So, this is a study conducted by University of Calgary in Canada. So, they were able to prove that exposure of nerves 
na from mercury umuurong yung growth. Imbis na mag-grow yung, yung neurons na brain cells natin, umuurong siya. So, this is also the effect of forgetfulness, irritability, fits of anger, yan, yung mga yan. And meron din yung nag, ano, nag-tremors na tayo and all that. So, meron din yung iba dahil nga it's a neurotoxin, syempre umuurong yung, yung brain cells natin hindi na nagde-develop. At the same time, bumababa na yung immune system natin. Yan, sa mining sites, di ba? Yung mga small-scale gold mining. Yung mga small-scale gold miners, what they do, they collect the ore. Di ba? They collect this ore. Gukayin nila sa, sa bundok. So, yun sila yung ano. Uh, pag nakuha nila yung mercury, may kasamang gold yon So, it is the gold that they want to get, not the mercury. So, ang ginagawa, yung mercury, susunugin nila, uh, sunugin nila yung ore na mayroong mercury, tapos yung mercury yung mag-evaporate yan on the air. Pag nag-evaporate yan sa air, ayun, sunog ang ating ozone layer. So, what happened there? Going back to the mining, di ba? Yung miners na nag, nagsusunog ng ore ng, to collect the gold and separate mercury, nag-evaporate yun, nalalanghap din nila yung mercury vapor. Kahit nag-mask sila, nalalanghap nila yung mercury vapor. So, ano nangyari? Yung researcher, ang ginawa, tinest nila. O, hawakan, halimbawa, papalaka, ititest nila yung, yung mining, miner, lakad. Pag nalakad sila ng diretso, okay pa sila. Pero pag naklakad sila at hindi sila makalakad ng, ng diretso, ibig sabihin, may neurological disorder na siya. Or sometimes, they ask the miner na parang, okay, point to your nose. Kung wala kang neurological disorder, which is a bad effect or toxic effect of mercury, madali mong ipopoint yung nose mo. Madali mong ipopoint yung nose. Pero sila hindi. Gusto nila ipoint yung nose nila, pero tatama doon sa mata. Tatama dito kung saan-saan. Eh, pero yung nose yung gusto mong ituro, hindi nila maaabot. Kasi may neurological disorder. Yun. These are bad effects. Now, what is the importance of this? In the mouth. So, sa bibig. Safe ba yun? So, yun yung campaign ko. And... I went through all this process na talagang it's a long journey with Department of Health and Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the United Nations kaya nagkaroon ng Minamata Convention. Sabi nga nila, di ba, ng environmentalists, you are not supposed to put mercury in the waste. No mercury waste in the air, no mercury waste in the water, no mercury waste in the wastewater. Wala sa imbornal. But then, sabi naman ng mga dentist, oh, it's, it's perfectly safe for human yung amalgam. Kasi okay lang yan. It has been there for 200 years. Eh, how can you say na safe yan? Eh, may mercury yan. And it has 50% mercury. So you mean, bawal maglagay ng mercury sa, sa imbornan. Pero okay lang ilagay sa bebe. No! God, please, no! 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 I'm doing this vlog because this is the very main reason why I want to vlog. Because I want to campaign for mercury-free dentistry and I want to push for my advocacy to be known. Yun. So hopefully you all appreciate what I share to you and there's a whole lot more to discuss about mercury. It's a long journey, it's a long process and I strongly suggest that you go visit your dentist and see uh, if you have mercury in the mouth then be careful. Well, hindi naman po siya nakakamatay. It slowly uh, kills our nerves. And that is the very reason why slowly nag uh, humihina yung immune system natin at saka yung ating um, face of anger, irritability, yan. So, lahat yan, effects ng neurotoxins yan, lahat yan. And marami pa naman. Well, it's not a main reason kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng mga ganitong mga sakit-sakit. At please, sa mga kaibigan po natin mga dentista na nanawagan po ako sa inyo, hindi po ako nagtatanggal ng amalgam pag hindi kailangan. And even if I see amalgam, I see mercury fillings in the mouth, I don't discuss this to my patient if there is no need. Okay, so that clears everything, no? Sana po magkakaintindihan po tayo. Ayoko po na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga miscommunication at misunderstanding. Malino po, and I'm very particular with code of ethics. I'm very particular with 
ethic practices when it comes to patient's mouth. So thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell for future videos. A genuine smile comes from the heart, but a good healthy smile needs good dental care.